Hey friends, I thought it'd be fun to play around with Anthropic's Claude API. I'll show you how to get set up with an API key. We'll go through the documentation some, and then I'll show you how to build an actual chatbot. So you can just go to anthropic.com API and hit get started. Go ahead and log in or create an account. And then you can create an API key by clicking get API keys. And if you don't have one, just hit this create key button and go ahead and give it a name. Then we can go back to the dashboard and explore the documentation. So if you click on API references, there are a bunch of different ways you can use it, including a Python SDK, TypeScript SDK, REST API, as well as through the Vertex AI API and Amazon's Bedrock API. So we're gonna focus on the TypeScript SDK. So let's take a look at how we create a message. So we can call anthropic.messages.create and we pass in some parameters, it has some required parameters like the model, the messages, which is an array of objects containing the role and the content of that message. And then also the max tokens need to be provided. There are also some other optional parameters like specifying whether you want it to stream, defining your own stop sequences. It also has the system prompt, which can be defined as well as tools for if you want to get a specific JSON format out of the model for calling APIs. So let's go ahead and build something with it. I'm just going to run a simple node server and I'll show you the boilerplate that I kind of have set up already here. So we've just got a simple HTML document that is using shoelace web components, which allows us to have some pre-styled components like our input text area, as well as the button that we're using. Inside our JavaScript file, we're just taking whenever someone clicks or hits enter on the input and submitting a message. We're pre-formatting the message to have a role, which we're defining as user, and the content, which is the contents of our input field. And we're just pushing that into an array, which we're then going to pass into our API request. And this is the part that we're going to build. So inside this method, we're just going to make, make a fetch request to our server calling API slash Anthropic. And this is going to be a post request with content type JSON. The body of the request is going to be the stringified JSON of our messages array. And then we're just going to handle the results, converting that to JSON, and then adding it back into our messages. Then we'll just log out in case there are any errors. For our server, we just have a simple node express server that's returning our index.html file, as well as some static assets, mainly the JavaScript file and our CSS. We're also including the .env library so that we can include our environments files with our API keys. So the first thing we need to do is install the SDK and include it in our node server. Then we just create an instance of it with our API key. So now we wanna create our API endpoint and make sure that we have the messages that we're passing in through the body. Then we just wanna handle any errors that come back from their SDK. For the model, we're gonna use the Claude 3 Opus model, which is their highest quality model it's also their slowest model. So they also have Sonnet, which is sort of an in-between model with both speed and quality, and they have Haiku, which is their fastest model. You can find all these listed in their documentation as well. Then we just set the max tokens and pass in the messages. Then we just return the JSON response. I noticed that I had one typo in the JavaScript, so I need to change this from res to rec. And then we can go ahead and restart our server and test it out. So we're just gonna say, what is the largest fish? And it gives us a response and we can go ahead and ask it subsequent messages. It'll continue to stack those into the messages array. So it should keep contacts throughout these responses. Cool, so as you can tell, um, I kind of cut it here, but the responses sometimes take a while and it's doing it in one chunk. So I wanna show how you can stream the responses. So the first thing we're gonna do is change this to be a stream, clean up the other handling of the request, and then also update our endpoint. Next we'll call get reader on the stream body 
and we're going to create a message object, which we're going to populate with the streamed content as it comes in. So it's going to have a role, which is assistant. And then the content is going to be the text initially just blank, but we'll populate this as our streamed content gets populated. And then we'll push this into our messages array. Then we're just going to track the most recent active message. We're going to create a while loop that breaks when the reader.read is done. And then we're going to create a text decoder that decodes the value of our reader. Then we're just going to split that text by a delimiter or combination of strings that we define. And then we're going to loop over these parts. So we're going to parse that part as JSON. And then we're going to take the content, which is the JSON message, and append it to the content of our message. So now we can go back to our server and implement this endpoint. So we're going to set a few headers here, like the content type to define it as a stream, as well as keeping the connection open so that it will behave like an event stream. Then we'll get the messages from the body of the request and handle any errors. Then we'll make the same request to the SDK, only setting stream to true within our parameters. Next, we're going to create a for loop that awaits every message stream event from our stream object. And for that message stream event del delta, we're going to write the JSON to our response. And this is going to be a JSON in the same format we were looking for, which is our message with the message stream event delta text value. Then we just call end on our response. I did have one typo in the JavaScript file. We want to push new message instead of messages. And then in our server, in the string that we're writing, we want to make sure that we have that delimiter that we're looking for. So here are the two greater than symbols. So now if we restart our node server and test it out, we should get a stream of messages as the response instead of everything all at once. And there we go. So this is just kind of an overview of how you can use the SDK. Obviously, there are a lot of different ways to use it, and there's other functionality as well, including the tools that they have if you want to be able to call APIs from the model. So thanks for checking it out.